I'm headed to Walmart to get the cheapest lure they got and see if I can catch a fish on it. So stay tuned. Well, we did it. <laughs> Got our mask off. That thing about chokes me. But I found the cheapest lure in Walmart. This was on clearance for $5. You can see it there. This is a cream lure 48 piece panfish kit. Now, if my math serves me correct and my phone's calculator is working correctly, then that comes out roughly to 10 and a half cents per lure. And as far as I can see, these lures here look like that it's gonna be a creek kind of lure. Let's grab these, head to the creek, and see if we can catch a fish with them. Okay, we have made it down to the creek. Maybe you can see it here behind me. Yeah, back down to the same spot we were just the other day. Might have been in the last video, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what videos have got between that one and this one. You can see the creek here, the bridge. We're gonna go down there and see if these cheap lures from Walmart work. I have a feeling they will. Although, the one thing I did forget was my rubber boots. All I've got on is these cheap old little slip-ons from Walmart. But we're going to make do. Let's get this rigged up. We've got the ducket rod with the Zepco Micro Spin on it with some two-pound line. There's a trap magnet on here right now, but I'm going to put this back in the tackle bag and we are going to take cheap walmart baits down there and see what we can do with them put this trout magnet back in here well, i'm telling you they don't want you to get into these i don't think they've got them stapled up and everything pretty neat how you buy this and it comes with its own little carrying box all right here we go Let's go with something small to begin with. We'll start out with this tiny jig head. And let's go with a natural color. This is uh, clear, kind of clear white. You can see the size there. It's really, really small. We'll go with this one here. There we go. Get this tied on. Actually, I will put this in here so we can take it with us. All right, we got this clear bodied one with the yellow head on it. it looks like a 164 ounce, it might be a little bigger than that, but I believe it's a 164 ounce. Now, let's try to get down this without falling. I think we can make it again. There is all kinds of briars. I should not have wore shorts. <laughs> this is going to suck. Once again, we made it without falling. All right, let's try this. Go over here to this little waterfall. It's, a creek's a little up. 
from where it was the other day. Maybe that'll make fishing better. Maybe not. Nothing there. I love that sound. <laughs> I could just listen to that sound for a long time. Alright, let's move down this way for a little bit. Make some cast over here. Water's a little more murky than it was the other day. Might need a brighter color. There's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> a tiny, tiny bass. <laughs> this is great. A very small bass. And if he'll be still, I can pick him up. Wow, look how tiny that bass is. He's got a, something tried to eat on him. Let's see. Yep, spotted bass. <laughs> well, it's official. Or as Marling Bates says, it's O. Official. Got to be a bigger one in here. I can't believe how tiny that fish was. Oh, goodness. All right, let's move down a little bit. Now, now I know this is kind of a heavy lure for this line. But we're going to try it anyway. I'm probably going to get it hung up and lose it. Hugger might. I bit the head off of it. Put a Ned Rig head through it. And we're going to throw it around a little bit and see if we can catch some of these spotted bass in here with this. Wow, that's way heavier than what I was fishing with. <laughs> Almost hung it up on the other side, but I flipped it back over this way and hung it up over here. Much, much easier. <laughs> All right, come on, get out of there. There you are. Let's see if we can go down this way and bring it upstream. There's some rocks on bottom. I can feel them. There's one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I need to tighten my drag up. <laughs> it was right behind that rock there. Nice. He inhaled it. Let him run with it a little too long. There we go. There we go. Nice little spotted bass. On the Helgramite. What a nice fish. He's got a little scratch on top of his head. What a nice fish. Nice little spotted bass. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. Put it back. On the Helgramite. I'm telling you. If you haven't picked up this lure, you don't know what you're missing. It absolutely catches fish. Let's see if there's another one in there by that rock. That was a pretty subtle bite too. He was, thought I was on a rock and then I seen my line taking off. Pretty cool. 
Love catching those spotted bass. Oh, there was another one right there. Another one was taken off with it. And I whiffed. Let's see if we can get him back. We're going to try the Rebel Teeny R for a few casts. There's a fish. Oh, oh, was this something different? It is. It's a rock bass. Let's see if we can do this without getting ourselves hooked. Hey, look at there. <laughs> One thing about running this teeny R is that it's got so many hooks plus it's crankbait running it in the creek is definitely running a risk of losing it <laughs> so it's good to have a couple on hand which i do not have i need to get me uh i think they come in some packs i think they got them in uh yeah packs that you can get of four or five at a time different colors shapes sizes definitely need to invest in that There's another fish. I mean, he's, oh, it was a rock bass. I mean, he hit that so hard, jerked it out of my hand. Oh, goodness. There's some rock bass right in there. Let's see if we can get another one to bite. So this little sheep lure right here, would I recommend it? For five bucks, you can't go wrong. You can stick these in your creek fishing bag, like I have, and use them off and on from time to time just to see how it turns out. So, was it a good deal? Ten and a half cents per lure? Yeah, I'd say so. We did catch one spotted bass on it, and it was on the the clear, the clear colored body. I didn't try any of the swirly tails. I have so many swirly tails, and I know swirly tails work in this creek. Not a problem there. I was trying the little boot tail minnow looking baits. We caught one fish off of this. We caught a nice spotted bass off the Helgramite. Then we put the teeny R on and we caught a couple rock bass with it. So all in all, it's been a decent day. Thanks so much for coming. We'll see you next time. But until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.